We're in a great facility because we have access to over 700 cameras. We have a fiber optic network that connects to them. And then we have good software that allows us to just type in a camera number or a street name, put it up on the video wall, put it on our monitor and see what's going on. And then we have the ability to type in the information on those big electronic signs you see on the freeways, send out text messages, tweet alerts, and inform travelers what's going on. We also have software that advises of, us, of crashes so that we can look for them and find them as opposed to waiting for somebody to call us and say they're in a crash. The previous nights of this week when we didn't have weather, we had two crashes that we reported during those hours. We'll be out and we monitor. Obviously, we're going to monitor the roadways if we have vehicles that are slipping and sliding, getting stuck. Uh, we had a situation last night on 160 by Mountain Pass. It was um, just getting too much snow. It was impassable, so we actually had to shut it down for about two hours just so we could get the plows up there. We close any road down. The it's always what comes down to public safety. We always want to keep the highways open. Mm -hmm. When we're on a crash, we try to clear it as quick as possible. We want to keep the freeways open. We have a lot of commerce that goes in between Vegas, you know, from LA to across the country. So uh, time is money when you're, when you're a freight driver, a truck driver. So we want to keep those roads open and just make it convenient for everyone. But when it comes down to public safety, if there's a risk, and it's gonna create more of a problem as far as vehicles going off the roadway, causing traffic jams, then, then we're gonna shut the road down. We're just asking people if they're gonna go out this morning, if they have to commute to work, just give themselves a little extra time.